right, everybody. I wanted to share this video with you because I've been talking about, well, some of you know I've been having some, had to go see the doctor, had a few health issues. But before I went to see the doctor, I began to do a little research and found some things out and started applying them to my life. It's made a huge change in my life so far. I mean, maybe I'm too premature doing this, but we're at least two weeks in on this deal and <clears throat> you know how you go to the doctor and the doctor says well you need to lose weight your weight is causing your problem you lose weight you'll feel better you lose weight this or that <clears throat> I'm not saying that losing weight ain't a good idea okay probably is probably a lot of extra uh, maybe pressure on my back pressure on my knees and some of my joints because I could be lighter. That's just the truth. That never satisfied me. That never, to me, I see some big old boys that seem to be pretty fit. Matter of fact, we're about to get to football season. You're going to see some big old boys pretty fit. Don't seem to hurt out there playing, going, uh, man, however many minutes, you know, 60 minutes or whatever, they're going to be getting it. So that, that never that never converted me. I needed something that was going to convert me because it was going to convince me that's really what's going on. So here's what the deal was. Y'all know I've had this lung issue and I can't breathe. 13 years ago, I was diagnosed with minor COPD. Well, the last few years in particular, this last year, it has really gotten tough on me. And I finally went to Florida. I could breathe so much better. And I told my wife, I said, man, when I come to Florida, I feel so much better. I said, this lung deal is just stealing my life. And so we made all the deals, you know. I, that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is, before I went to the doctor, I began to do some research. Because after I confessed that my lungs had issues, I also began to look at my body and realize, when I get out of a chair, I could barely take the first four or five steps. Just kill the bottom of my feet, my legs, my back. Sitting at work, my back would cramp. It was just almost unbearable to sit at work. I could hardly stand it. I suffered through so much pain just sitting. Okay, I wasn't out working, wasn't hauling hay, you know, wasn't cutting wood. I was sitting, doing what I do at my job. I was, Looking at blueprints, you know, making takeoffs and bids uh, and, and stuff like that. And it just, it, it just hurt so bad. So I decided there's something wrong with that. My mind thought of my diabetic because my dad di was a diabetic. I said, is this diabetes coming on? So I began to try to look at some issues. So I typed in first my, <clears throat> the bottom of my feet hurting. Which brought me to a deal that said plantar fasciitis. Okay, plantar fasciitis. I began to read some things and causes and and stuff like that, which took me to an enzyme that's supposed to help and blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, okay, what I read talked about the inflammation in your body, and this enzyme was supposed to help that. I read the reviews of that enzyme and what people were saying, and I wasn't reading so much about the enzyme, but I was reading what they were doing, what was being fixed, you know what was wrong with them and what was being fixed if that makes sense even some of them, some of them said that this um, inflammation and as they were getting better from that inflammation that their breathing improved and I was like man <clears throat> so through this research what I saw was sugar well let me just give you a rundown right quick of my diet pre this research okay in the morning I'd get to work I would drink a Mountain Dew usually have a half a package of chocolate donuts and a bag of Funyuns or a bag of Cheetos cheese puffs something like that about 9 9 o'clock break I would have another Mountain Dew quite possibly another bag of Cheetos or something like that at lunch time I will go somewhere and I would eat lunch, or I might eat lunch there. Bologna sandwich, bag of Cheetos, 
soda pop, Milky Way or Snickers, okay? Or I'd go to Golden Crown. I'd have pecan pie, I don't know, maybe a little salad, mashed potatoes and gravy, you know, some sort of fried meat or three or five. Then maybe a couple of chocolate, chocolate chip cookies and ice cream to end. I ate the pecan pie first, by the way. Go to the Mexican restaurant, chips and salsa, unbelievable amount, and then whatever I ate, okay? So you get the picture. By two o'clock, I was probably drinking another pop, having a Snickers, and I don't like sweet in my mouth, so I'd eat another bag of chips and get to take the sweet flavor out of my mouth. Come home, eat whatever was at home, okay? But I'd have a pop with that. And then probably before I went to bed, I'd drink a pop, and eat some chips of some kind. So you see my diet? All processed, all sugar, and all of that stuff. So a couple of weeks ago, <clears throat> after I read this, it was on a Sunday, Sunday evening, I said, okay, I'm quitting sugar. I'm gonna give it a test. I said, I can do this for, it's going to, I, I was hoping a month, and, and see if it actually changed things in my life. So I went off sugar, 90, let's say 95%, okay? Because I may still drink a sweet tea with lunch, or I might even have, I've been on this two weeks and I've probably had four Cokes, okay? Tired one day after camp, went to Sonic, got a, got a Coke, okay? Uh, went out to eat one time, got a Coke, okay? When I went out to eat, I had grilled pork chops, you know, didn't eat the bread, didn't eat the rolls, didn't eat that. Gone off sugar. I haven't had a potato chip since I went on this. I haven't had a candy bar since I went on this, okay? I got rid of all that sugar. Uh, when I eat, I eat, I eat a lot of fruit now, a few vegetables, and meat, okay? Grilled meat. If I eat fried, it's probably going to be fish, okay? Outside of that, grilled. So here's what happened. Honestly, in 24 hours, I've seen a difference in my feet. 24 hours, a difference in my feet. I could get up, and my first step wasn't excruciating pain. Second day, my back's quit hurting. I'm not having them cramps in my back in the, by the afternoon. That's gone. The pain and stuff is gone. I haven't seen an incredible change in my energy level the first week. But I had so much going on and we had camp, so I don't know if that was part of it, you know, because uh, we were really busy, you know. So, but now we're into this, we're, we're, we're trading now this second week. Here's the deal, man. I get home, I still had that little bit of hangover from the drive home, but I had the energy to get up and do something. I don't want to just sit. I mean, I was wanting to come home and sit and just rest because I was so wore out, so beat down, it hurt so bad. And I, and I had been living my life like this, and it was just a battle to do anything, okay? Uh, it, it hurt me to do anything and everything I did. There was pain with it. It didn't matter if I was fishing or roping or whatever I was doing, man. It, it caused me a lot of pain. And uh, so I'm a couple of weeks into this deal, and... Uh, I've seen a huge difference. I've gone off sugar. I'm still eating. I'm eating plenty. I may eat all those times I was eating at work. I may eat a peach or have a little bit of grapes or have a banana. You know, this morning I'll go to I'll go to get to work. I'll have a peach and a banana for breakfast. That's what I'll have. Probably have a few grapes sometime between lunch and and uh, you know starting at lunch. Okay and. Uh, and a handful of nuts. I've eaten a handful of like peanuts and sunflower seeds, kind of that trail mix stuff. Maybe I eat a handful of them. I don't hog out on them. I do kind of try to control myself on that. And uh, outside of that, I haven't really tried to control myself. I've just eaten, but I've just changed what I eat. I haven't changed the amount of eat. I let that come naturally. Guys, I, I, it's a huge difference, and I don't know, but I know there's people out there probably suffering like I was suffering, and I just want to tell you, the inflammation in your body it ain't because you're fat. It ain't because you're overweight. It's because you have inflammation in your body because of your diet. That's what I think. That's what I see. And that's what I believe. That's what I've heard. That's what I've saw. Y'all, you know, I've seen some things on YouTube. I've researched some things on the internet. 
And I think that's a huge part of a lot of our issues. I think it was a huge part of my issue. I said I was hurting, man. And it was inflammation in my body. And that was being brought on by my diet. Okay? So I've changed my diet. I've not got on the scales. Not when I started. Not not the whole... I ain't, and I ain't getting on the scales. I don't care about the scales. The scales are liars. And the scales are the greatest defeat to anybody that's going on diet. What I use is my measuring state. state now is how I feel. Do I feel good? Am I hurting? Does did, did that make my feet hurt? Because I have, along this journey, because especially during camp, I ate some things bad because it was pretty inconvenient to eat, right? And uh, I noticed that, that instantly, almost, not, or you know, just a few hours later, I began to feel some of that pain come back. I'm sold on it, man. I'm converted, if you will. That it's, it's made a huge difference in my life, already in two weeks. Now, just a little side note to that, I went to the pulmonologist, he's put me on some a breathing, so I don't know what it's called, and another little pill. That breathing deal, I think, has already taken a little, little bit better effect on me, too. So, things are looking up. They're, they're, they're going good. And, uh, so anyway, I just wanted to share, I want to share that with you. And also, that getting off that sugar, even before I went to the pulmonologist, I could already see that I was having a better time breathing. It still hadn't cured, taken care of me. Uh, they think I have asthma. And so, anyways, we'll see how that turns out. But the sugar helped even in that. So I just want to encourage you, man. I just want to help you. I want everybody, you know, number one, I want you to know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, and, you know, have that life of faith and, and have fellowship with God. Number two, I want you to live the healthiest life you can live, man. I want you to feel good because because hurting all your life is just no way to live. So that's my experience. Don't know if it works for everybody, but it's worth a try. Just getting off sugar probably ain't going to hurt too many people. But uh, give it a try. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. And you can try something else. Do your own research. Go see your doctor. Talk to him about it. Whatever you need to do. But man, if you're hurting, if you're suffering, consider your diet. Consider what it's doing inside. And, and, and Here's the deal. I couldn't just accept the diagnosis from the doctor said you're fat, you need to lose weight. It wasn't good enough for me. When I read the reason and what was causing it, if I quit, it would help fix it. See, I'm still overweight, but I feel better, dude. I feel better. So it isn't the fat that's causing all my problems. It's the diet. The diet has caused me to be fat. So... I could go on another kind of diet and still feel bad because I wasn't getting necessarily off the sugars. Maybe I'm cutting my calories or something. But I'm not getting off the things that have been affected with what I think is the inflammation in my body. Okay? I'm not a professional. All I know is that's what I've done. It's helped me. I just wanted to share that with everybody so that maybe some of you out there, if y'all need help, man, I, I, I want you to feel better. I want you to be able to live your life. If you got kids, I want you to be able to live your life with them. You know, you're married, I want you to live the best life you can with your spouse, and have fun, and uh, you got grandkids, man, your grandkids need you, they want you, I want you to live healthy, feel good, okay? Have energy, and want to do something, okay? A lot of times, I think it is dependent upon our diet. So just a disclaimer, I'm not a professional, I'm just a same old cat like you, I uh, just stumbled onto this deal feeling much better, just sharing my testimony with you, okay? Y'all have a blessed day.